my normal image processing workflow uh, nowadays is to use Lightroom for probably 80-90% of what I'm doing. It's got great organizational abilities and uh, the processing of uh, one layer images is uh, just really great in it. But there are times when I use uh, Photoshop. I've been using Photoshop from within it uh, when I need to uh, combine images, maybe add text, um, uh, change eyes uh, in multiple levels of uh, family groups and so on. So it's a useful tool and what's really wonderful is the way that uh, it's able to open right up from within Lightroom. So for instance if I take an image like this here which I want to do some uh, perspective control on and I right click and I can go into edit and uh, edit in Photoshop CS6. Another option that I use a lot is Color Effects Pro and also uh, Silver Effects. So it's handy having that. Well with the new uh, uh, photo editing application that uh, I purchased yesterday that I'm working with Affinity Photo um, it's obviously not just automatically here on the list so I'm just going to describe the setup and uh, show you that it integrates perfectly in uh, this context. So what we need to do then in Lightroom is go to uh, Preferences the external editing tab in preferences and uh, the first option there is Photoshop we'll go to additional external editor and uh, we'll choose well, let me see we'll just go back there so you can see what that was right here application it says not specified so I'm just going to choose that go into my list of applications hit affinity photo by the way currently is only made for the Mac which it uh, runs extremely fast doing with. Uh, select the file format I've been using TIFF and we'll go color space Adobe RGB 16-bit so on and then um, in the preset then we want to make that a preset that can be saved so save cur current preset setting as a new preset and I'll just call that affinity photo Create and uh, stack with original. That's uh, my setting. What's down here for template? Okay, that's an open. So that's all there is to it. Um, let me see. I don't know if we have to close out Lightroom or not. We'll soon find out. No, nope, there it is, right there. So I'm going to take this uh, this image here. Edit in Affinity Photo added a copy with the uh, Lightroom adjustments so that might be really handy um, using it this way if uh, say you have raw images which I don't uh, tend to use too often but uh, some have said that the raw developer isn't uh, real great in Affinity so this way Lightroom will be handling that and then uh, once the processing is done of the raw it can be exported out to do any Photoshop style editing so there we see that it's opening right uh, within, there it is, within Affinity Photo. Um, I'm going to try this new option here of the perspective and just see. It's amazing how nice and convenient that is. I don't know if that's the one we've got that we'll be using. No, that's a little different a tool. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to do that right here do a little bit of adjustment just to show uh, what can be done so I'll apply and I'm gonna have to figure out the other um, perspective uh, adjustments that I'm used to in Photoshop anyway just like in any other program then we save we don't save as it's just a save and if we go back into Lightroom there's the copy the second copy perfect one thing I just want to check, there's an option that I do like if I have a bunch of uh, layers of the same image. I'm not expecting it to be here. So let's say I've selected two. And right click, edit in. This is something that I found 
um, after a while I wasn't didn't realize it was there right down at the bottom as open as layers in Photoshop so it doesn't look like that can be done in Affinity Photo so uh, prior to knowing about that I was opening Photoshop um, up a layer at a time mind you multi multiple multiple images can be opened at the same time they just come up as separate uh, files and then would have to be copied and pasted into layers so it's not a big deal but uh, those extra Photoshop options obviously uh, these are this is Adobe products so they built some of those things in so it works perfectly integrates uh, well and uh, that gets around a couple things the raw editing if you want to use Lightroom for that and also uh, the fact that Affinity Photo exports out in its own proprietary format so with this it's being brought back in as a TIFF into a Lightroom and it can be handled in that way